Hi guys, I hope you're all well. It's currently Sunday the 2nd of February 2020 and welcome to week 212 of my weight loss journey. In last week's video we all saw I had a small loss but a loss nonetheless of half a pound or 0.2 kilogram which meant my body mass index actually maintained at 48.9. Just like I always do, I'm going to start the proceedings off by reviewing my calorie consumption for the past week, which we can see in the graph above. The average of this was 2,700 compared to the previous week at 2,590. So an obvious increase in calorie consumption this week, it's obviously above my 2,500 daily allowance or average for the week. What are the main reasons for this? Well, it's my good old friend, the weekend, last Sunday, and of course, yesterday, Saturday, but I also had a bit of a blip during the week on Thursday where I had about 2,600 calories. So again, I didn't quite achieve it there. And overall, it's averaged itself out to be 2,700. So not good, but I'm gonna give you a bit more insight into where these calories have come from uh, after my weigh-in. But if we look at my fluid consumption, you can see there that that has also taken a downwards hit to 3,311 millilitres compared to the previous week at 3,689 millilitres. So I've not achieved, I think for the first time so far this year, my new fluid consumption daily allowance or average for the week of 3,500 millilitres. So that's not great. Now let's look at my step count, which we can also see in the graph above. The average of this was 11,501 compared to the previous week at 10,784. So another, an obvious increase in steps this week. I did a bit more last Sunday, uh, but as long as it's over 10,000, I'm perfectly happy. It's that time of the week where we all get to see if I've managed to lose any more weight. So here it is guys, here's my Wayne. I weigh 166.3 kilograms, which is 366.7 pounds, or 26 stone, 2.7 pounds. This means in the last week, I've seen a loss of two pounds or 0.9 kilogram. But if I compare this result to the result I obtained at Slimming World, you can see this right here. At Slimming World this week, I also saw a loss of two pounds or 0.9 kilogram. This week's result now means I've lost 63.2% of the weight I gained over Christmas. Last week you may recall that I mentioned I was going to give a bit more of an insight into the daily sins that I'm having, uh, especially after last week's small weight loss and I, I felt that I probably wasn't eating enough sins since I've reduced my calorie consumption by 200 down to 2,500 calories for each day. So I was kind of right. My average calorie or sin allowance last week was between 10 and 15 sins. Now, based on my body weight, I'm allowed up to 35 sins per day. Now, I keep mentioning sins. Now, for those of you who do follow the Slimming World plan, you'll know precisely what sins are. But to put it into very basic terms, sins are treats but they're everyday item treats like salad cream, coleslaw, dark rye vita crisp breads, rich tea biscuits, packet of crisp. So it's those types of food which have a sin value to them. Now, I did give myself deliberately some more sins this week, uh, but I was trying my best to stick within my 35 sins, but I'll give you an idea of how I've got on. Last Sunday, as we all know from the information I've already given you in this video, I did go over my calorie consumption, but my daily sin consumption was 70.5, double what I'm supposed to have on a daily basis. And on Monday, I had 29.5, Tuesday, I had 13.5, Wednesday, I had 16, Thursday, I had 40, 
and Friday I had 23.5 and of course yesterday the bumper day of the week I had 152 sins now I'm going to tell you where all those sins came from but just to give you an idea of some sin values for typical items that I have well a packet of crisp oven baked crisp 25 gram bag there's five and a half sins in that bag I like salad cream and I usually have two uh, level tablespoons of salad cream on a salad and a level tablespoon of salad cream is one sin so I do like a bit more of a salad cream yogurt now if I'm doing my overnight oats because I also have 250 milliliters of semi skim milk as well so I, that's my one of my healthy A's but because of my uh, overnight oats 250 milliliters of natural low fat yogurt savers it's actually one sin for half of this pot so if they decide to have the whole pot it's just obviously going to be two sins so I do like that yogurt Rivita crisp breads now after my evening meal or even with my salads during the day I like to usually have four Rivita crisp breads and each crisp bread is one and a half sins so they're six sins straight away and if I have it in my e after my evening meal I usually put some cheese bread on there as well 100 grams of cheese bread uh, usually Philadelphia um, chive cheese bread which is eight sins for that 100 grams I also do enjoy some rich tea biscuits which in America I'm guessing you would be just a completely plain cookie um, two sins for one of these there's not much to them but there's two sins in one of these biscuits then of course you've got your digestive biscuits which is a bit more sturdy biscuit again one of, one of my favorites uh, but there's three and a half sins in one of these so yeah just that's to give you an idea of some of the typical sins which you can have throughout the day so let's look at my sin because obviously yesterday does stand out quite dramatically but with me having 152 sins but where all did where did those sins come from well i had 100 grams of peanuts, well that's 32 sins. I had some salad cream, I had coleslaw, I had a tin of Baxter's vegetable soup, which was only two and a half sins, not that bad. Uh, I had a scone, which was 11 sins for a scone. And I did have some jam with that as well, which was just a sin, one sin. Uh, I had a number of rich tea biscuits, I also had a double cheeseburger uh, with French fries, which was like nine, 11, it's like 30 sins I had just there on that burger. Uh, may mayonnaise on its own was 10 sins. Um, and of course my big slice of cheesecake was around 30 sins just on that key cheesecake. And of course these are the best estimates that I could get to but I just wanted to give you some idea of where my sins are so I'm allowed 35 sins just to recap and on most cases this week I went over it if I'm being honest but I'm wanting to going forward to keep my sins at up to 35 30 to 35 top end of what I'm allowed each day Based on this week's weight loss, it sees my body mass index go from 48.9 down to 48.6. And if we look at my third weight loss target, last week it was 46.4% complete, and after the loss it goes up to 49.3% complete. So in the 212 weeks I've been doing this weight loss journey, I have lost a total of 174.5 pounds, which is 79.2 kilograms, or 12 stone, 6.5 pounds. Well, I was hoping and working towards losing all of my Christmas weight gain by the end of January, but obviously I've not achieved that because I still have 10 and a half pounds 
of Christmas weight gain to lose. So which makes it a little bit more difficult for me to achieve my 6th of April third weight loss target but I'm still up for the challenge. It's gonna be a bit more of an effort on my part, but I'm wanting to still smash that goal. This week coming up though, obviously the big thing I need to focus on, of course, is my calorie consumption. I'm still going to be having my increased sins because it obviously is helping me with the loss results, better loss results. Two pounds a week is perfect. I just need to make sure that I stick within 35 sins each day. The weekends, of course, I always have more sins, but I need to make sure, I keep telling myself this, to stick within 3,000 calories. So the, the sins do mount up just a little bit, um, but uh, yeah, I am wanting to continue with those extra sins per day, and I'm hoping this will continue to help me see a minimum of a two pound weight loss per week. But other than that, guys, that's it, that's the end of this week's video. As always, if you'd like to continue following me along my weight loss journey and hopefully get to see much less of me in the future, by all means, subscribe to my channel so you don't get to miss out on any future videos that I post. I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you all again next Sunday.